Drip network is crashing. What's up guys, how's it going? Zoltaev here, aka John. The biggest question is, is Drip Network done and is it going to zero? Go ahead and watch till the end of the video to go ahead and find out. This is going to be a quick video, no longer than 10 minutes. I'm going to keep it under five. But before I do go ahead and move forward, I do want to go ahead and say anything I do say or talk about in this video is solely for entertainment and educational purposes only. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and go straight into the charts. We're not even going to go ahead and really see what's going on with the news. We all know markets crashing. What happened with Terra uh, right now at the moment with Luna? You know, that freaked out a lot of people even more. This is one of the biggest crypto crashes we've ever had in history that has dropped that quick. So uh, let's go ahead and go straight into it. What is going on with Drip Network? And welcome to all of you moon boys. I know a lot of people were talking down in the description, talking about my opinion about you know, uh, what I was saying on Drip Network that I mentioned and they were all laughing at me. Uh, who's laughing now, right? I've always been bullish on this project. I obviously had big concerns about certain things, just like the fact that they're able to print more Drip whenever they have to. Very similar thing that happened with Luna and look what happened to Luna. So these are just my concerns, guys, and I don't care what you guys think or what you guys say. I'm going to go ahead and give out my opinion because at the end of the day, this is my YouTube channel. So we are free to say whatever we want. Um, and it's and I as well want you and I recommend all of you guys to go ahead and leave down your opinions, criticize, say whatever you guys want. I want to go ahead and hear it. So go ahead and comment down below on your opinion. But I told you guys this is, what, this is exactly what was going to happen. I mentioned in the chat, I even said it on Telegram, I'm like, uh, Drip Network is going to drop. Everybody was laughing at me. They were they were talking shit and everything. And I was like, all right, for sure. We'll see. Uh, the last video I did make, I, I did mention this was a critical area uh, of resistance that if we were to break that, we were going to see a massive bounce back up to about $90 and then possibly tanking. And it looks like we actually didn't even do that. We didn't even test it. We slightly not even touch the resistance we just been nothing but red guys look at this it has been nothing but red it went from 162 dollars to say all-time high i think it was a little bit higher to as low as 17 dollars at the time being of this video maybe even lower i think let's see it's actually like around 15 bucks so not financial advice but it does look like a good buying opportunity but this is exactly what i told everybody i said these are major areas that if we lose support we will be seeing it tank lower so is a so is drip network going to zero no i don't think so i definitely do think it's going to hit these areas which is going to be around the six to five dollar area and it's really clear when you go ahead and zoom out and you go over to the uh, to the uh to the bigger time frame so this is a four hourly as you can see, it's already hitting this major area right here, guys, which is around five to nine dollars. At its lowest, it was around five bucks. And I always talk about this channel, big things. I always talk about supply and demand zone. Currently, we are hitting the demand zone. If you guys are not familiar with TA, supply and demand is very simple. Demand zone means the area where wells and you know massive buying opportunities begin to happen. And then the supply area means that's the area where wells and other investors think the, the the token's overvalued and they start uh pretty much selling off which is pretty much support and resistance all right guys just to keep it just simple so if we go over to the four hourly as you guys can tell we are hitting that area of of uh of demand at the moment which is right here which is the support area right so this is the area of demand massive area of support so we do i do expect uh drip to go as low as 10 to five dollars and then then i think that's when we're going to have amounts of uh, a massive uh a massive bounce back because big whales are are pushing this price down on purpose so this is all well manipulation and people just you know being scared of just what the market's doing so i do expect a massive amount of uh, bounce back around this area right here Mr. President, this looks really bad, sir. The doctor's research was leaked and it has left unrest within the country. This is not good. The plan backfired, as I predicted. Mr. President, you need to speak on this or there will be riots. We cannot afford riots on top of this. 
The president wants all samples brought to the laboratory at once for immediate testing. This could be dangerous, people. Very dangerous. Which is right here. I do expect it a, a massive bounce back and then we should be seeing new all time highs, hopefully very soon, right? So let's go ahead and switch over to the uh, the fear and greed index. Right now we are currently in extreme fear as a Sunday being. You guys will be seeing this video on Monday. So hope you guys, everybody has a wonderful week, depending on whatever day it is, you guys have a wonderful day. But let's go ahead and look at Bitcoin right now at the time being. Let's go ahead and switch over to the four hourly. Um, it looks like we 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 got a little you know bounce the upside. We did touch thirty one thousand, which is looking pretty good so far. It is not exciting me. Um, I'm going to start getting a little bit more excited once we're able to break this area right here, which is around thirty three to thirty four thousand dollars. That's what I want to go ahead and see Bitcoin continue to hold to the upside for me to go ahead and say it's a bounce back. We are trending back up, but so far it is looking pretty good. So far we have been oversold in the last few days. And as you guys can tell, we have been having that bounce back very soon. So keep in mind that if we do get rejected on this resistance area right here, do expect it to dump even lower. And we might be seeing Bitcoin at around 19 to $17,000 guys. I think that is very possible. So do uh, be very careful. Do not go long here yet. Um, I know people just want to go ahead and see one green stick and instantly go long. No, you guys have to go ahead and make sure you guys are waiting for confirmation and confirmation will be seeing Bitcoin hold and break above $34,000. That's when uh, putting in the position will be actually pretty good. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So I wanted to go ahead and do a little quick update on the market and about drip. Let me know about your opinions. Comment down below if you agree or disagree with me. What do you guys think drip is going to be priced at, at the next coming days? Thank you for all your support. Have a good one.